On this episode of On the Edge with Lauren, we have a very special guest today. Our happiness hero comes to you from our very own Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Please welcome our very special guest. Oh, well, I'm so glad to be here. I'm Gwen Shewitt, and I'm the CEO of Friendship Community. And we have a very special program to tell you about and our um, gallery and studio for our individuals with intellectual disabilities and autism is in Lancaster City on um, at 118 North Water Street. And, uh, and we also have a gallery in Lidditz on um, Route 501 in the Bloomfield shops at uh, Bloomfield Village. And we are so excited to be here to tell you about this wonderful, wonderful studio and galleries. We are so happy to have you with us today, Gwen. What a unique opportunity for people in our community, not only to uh, find an outlet for creativity and expressing their talents, but then also for our community members to get involved and support this beautiful cause. Gwen, tell us a little bit about how you got started and what your mission here is. Well, I came in the beginning of 2010. And just prior to that, um, and a small art program had been started just from people socializing and doing some uh, artwork together. They did some original canvas designs and some painted glass vases and some wooden toys. And from there in 2009, a very small uh, storefront was opened on Main Street in Ephrata. And um, I have loved art ever since I was five years old. And I also taught um, neurology as a nurse. And so I kept thinking that if we could tap into the part of the brain to really um, try to teach people fine arts, wouldn't that be fabulous? So our dream was to go to the art district of Lancaster because we really wanted to have people with intellectual disabilities and autism included in society. For so long, they have been excluded and we did not feel that that was um, right. And so we felt that um, we would show off capabilities because we saw so many capabilities. So we don't look at disabilities, we look at capabilities and that's our focus. So, um, we did some vision planning and our vision was to um, not only be inclusive, but to impact the world with not only our individual's capabilities, but our team members' capabilities. So we thought if we could bring this together and really um, have a fine arts program that would be showcased in the art district of Lancaster, which brings people from everywhere, wouldn't that be wonderful? So in 2013, we had the opportunity to do that. So we um, rebranded and it became the Friendship Heart Gallery and Studio. And I will tell you, Lauren, it has made such a difference in the lives of those that we support. We have families saying, I never knew that my child or my brother or my sister or my loved one ever had such capabilities. And we've seen them grow over the years and with true art instruction and time and patience, the artwork, well, you can see is beautiful. So Gwen, tell us about how our community can get involved to support these amazing artists. Um, you can go online to friendshipart.net slash bid. And we have an online auction as we did last year. And it's from March 18th to the 25th. And we would just love it if you would um, bid on the pieces and the artists are just overjoyed when they know that their piece has sold. So that's one way that you can certainly support us and also we have um open house at the gallery and there's first friday and the artists are there and they're mingling and you know people will come in and say wow and we'll say oh the artist is right here then they talk and it's a whole different um experience and people go home with the piece of art knowing the artist 
and having that story in their mind every time that they look at the piece themselves or tell the story to someone else that's at their home or their office, et cetera. The um, sense of pride it must is. just beam from these individuals. And it's so neat to see your extensive, and that was the other thing. If you go onto their website, you can see the biographies and the information behind all of these artists and not only just see their art, but then hear their story mm -hmm. and see a photo of them as well to see the face behind this art. And it's, it's remarkable what you're doing. Thank you so much. I, I, I wanna say that, you know, we can learn from those that um, also sell in the gallery because when they sell a piece and we tell someone they sold a piece, everybody's so excited. They're like, oh, Tim, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Or, oh, Sue, that's great. Now, how often do we do that for each other when we do something great? And so it, it's a learning experience for us as well to see the beauty of pure joy. And um, like you said, the self-worth has just risen. That is wonderful. Just, just across the board, having an artist with many capabilities, having supporters from all over is what we're aiming for. And so we encourage you to again, again to go to their website and see the immense amount of artists. In fact, how many artists are working under your roof? You have quite a bit of artists. We um, are going to have 75 artists in the art auction this year. That is amazing. Yeah. And you just keep growing. And so if you're thinking as you're watching this, I have someone in mind that I would love to incorporate in this program. You can always reach out to Gwen and go to their website and see all of the options as well. What a really wonderful outlet for artistic creativity and to highlight the capabilities of these incredible artists. Gwen, tell us a story about someone in your, in your gallery who has been drastically impacted with the, the ability to share and showcase their art. I'll tell you a very tender story. Um, we have many, but this is a very tender story. Uh, we were asked to help a woman on a Friday afternoon. And so uh, we brought her to her home, her new home, and um, she did not speak and was very fearful and very um, uh, closed. And so we thought, well, I wonder if she would... Um, be a part of the art program. So we said, well, let's try because she probably has never even experienced anything like it. And when she started, she started with all black and brown and very dark colors and very um, harsh uh, movements. And um, with time and, and just people being kind and getting next to her, she started to make sounds and we noticed that as she started to make sounds, we also saw a change in her colors. And she started to use less harsh lines and she started to listen and she started to um, explore lighter shades of color. And as time went on, probably over the course of a year, she started speaking and we started teaching her to communicate with others. And now her colors are the rainbow and her artwork is beautiful and so expressive and light shades. And she's just, she loves purples and lilacs and, and the shading is just absolutely beautiful. And we always look at that as wow, all that you really need to do is take the time and really work with someone and know that it's inside. You just have to explore with them. And all of a sudden, you know, their life is, is bountiful. And that's why I said to you, that's a transformed life. That is, that, that gave me goosebumps to listen to the transformation of who she was as a person when she came in and how she must feel right now and just to be able to express herself not just with her art but then she found her words that yes. is amazing i would just like to say that i believe that art has transformed lives and um through the support that you give to someone that just needs a little bit more support and patience 
anything can happen. And we're just so glad to be here today to tell you about this, Lauren. Thank you so much for having us on your program. Thank you so much, Gwen. We look forward to keeping up with you in the future and seeing more beautiful art coming from the Friendship Heart Gallery. Thanks again, Gwen.